54 on Saturday the 30th, 30th, 31st, I don't know what the day is, how bad is that? I'm catching a flight today. Today is the day I go to Tuscany. What, what, what? I'm flying to Tuscany to shoot a wedding today. Wedding's tomorrow, not today. But how exciting is that? I'm buzzing. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not nervous about the wedding as such, or well, a little bit, but I'm more nervous about flying and taking all my stuff. But I know I've got my passport, my money, and my cameras, and I've got clothes. Uh, the clothes aren't important. I got them to wear. But yeah, how freaking exciting! Oh, I'm like 60% excited, 40% nervous. It's a very strange feeling. So yeah, I'm about to leave my house. I need to go to the garage to put my tires up because I've got to drive to Birmingham. And get coffee, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you when I am doing something more interesting than just sitting in my car. I didn't think about it. I'm yeah. wore a woolly jumper. Although I did see some few thunder. I don't know um, if she did. Zaps, <laughs> and she missed them. <laughs> thunder zaps. That's hilarious. I've never been here before. On the little paper clip. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Is it Farah? No. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. It's the wedding day, isn't it? And we're just getting some breakfast in a minute. Well, hopefully. <laughs> um, are you taking a picture of me? Yeah. <laughs> I can see your like shadow in the background. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, it's fine. You practice your photography, mate. I'm practicing my filming look. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Um, we thought we'd just swap for the day of the wedding. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Just keep it interesting, you know? <laughs> keep us a lot of Um So yeah, today's the day. I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can. Because I think it's really interesting. Because... This chick right here. Because um, this is my first ever abroad wedding. So it's quite... It'll be quite good for me and for all of you to see how it all pans out. Ceremony's not actually till three, so we've got quite a bit of time. It's like nine now. So we're gonna go s look at some locations where we can shoot with them and um, yeah, and just like get ready and stuff. All of my cameras, <coughs> my voice is breaking. Um, all of my cameras are ready and that. I just, they got massive pants here. Anyway, I better go because I can't talk to people. <laughs> Hello, vlog. Hello from a very sweaty, very, very hot face. Um, currently sat down to have some lunch at this wedding. It's gone so well so far. We've had no thunderstorms. It's been, yeah, it's been really good. We've been really lucky with the weather. Um, 
So yeah, I'm just waiting to eat. Look how gross I am. We I did the ceremony, which went really well. They had like the most beautiful view ever. So to be honest, it was relatively straightforward. Um, nine nine bridesmaids and nine groomsmen, which is quite a lot. Um, but we made it work. Done all the formals. Drove out to this amazing bridge. I'll put a picture in. It's called Devil's Bridge. Um, took the bride and groom there and did some shots, which I'm really happy with. Um, then come back, had an ice cream, and um, now they're all sitting down. I've done shots of like everyone, so we sat down like mingling. Now I'm just waiting for to eat, and then hopefully I'll find my second wind and be able to shoot the rest of the day. But yeah, also, new thing today. I've got a bag, a bum bag, full of my um, batteries and memory cards and my sunglasses and stuff. And it's actually the best thing ever. Like, if I run out of memory card, bam, 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 new one straight in. It's, I'm converted. I love it. Um, so yeah, I will probably catch up with you tonight. Hey vlog, how are you? Sorry, it's actually really, really dark. <laughs> I'm just going back to my room to get my flash gun. Oh hey, bye bye. <laughs> Let's get my flash because it's got. It's like half past eight and it's really dark. Sad times. So I'm just trekking up to my bedroom to get me bloody lighting. Like, um, it's alright, under the marquee it's actually all lit, but I know that they're dancing outside under fairy lights, which is beautiful. But for me, I probably can't afford to go over like 1,500 ISO before it starts to be a little bit, a little bit sketchy. Didn't even do it justice to be honest with you. Hello again vlog. I'm currently walking from said party. Um, I'm going to go put one of my cameras away because I don't need two anymore. I've only got light for one so there's no point in there. Um, I just to run you through, I think it's quite interesting. Um, it's really annoying because you can't see me. Does that matter? Yeah, why would you watch a video if you can't even see? Oh, you can see me here. Um, yeah, about what I do for lighting, like for the dancing shots. And I use this baby, this flash gun. And I basically just dance with everyone and point it at them and then get cool shots like like if you were a club photographer you know like if you were a nightclub photographer that's the kind of vibe when it gets past nine o'clock a wedding goes to so um yeah that's what i do it's probably one of my favorite parts of the night actually i'm gonna go back in a minute i'm just gonna drop my stuff off um yeah it's been a really good day i hope the pictures are all right i'm sure they are Sorry, I'm not I'm shaky walking. It's been a long day and carrying this is freaking tiring on the arm. Um but yeah, no, it's been a really good day. I think they're gonna be partying for a while. I think they might join in actually. Everybody. I'm back. I'm back home in the barn editing my life away. <laughs> so I got back yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Um, yeah, it took quite a long time getting home because it took like an hour and a half to get from the hotel to Pisa Airport. We actually cut it quite close because we were supposed to well, our flight was at half past ten and we didn't get to the airport till nine. So that's that's actually quite tight, isn't it? But we were fine, it was fine. Got on the plane, then I was two two and a half hours home and then I had to drive drive from Birmingham to Western and then from Western to my house. So it was a long day of 
lots of travelling, but it's done now. I'm home. I'm looking at the pictures. I'm really happy. Yes, winner. Um, I had the best time. Like, honestly, such a good time. Um, I'm quite sad to be home really because it was it was rather dreamy. Um, I'm sure I've put some shots in of, or I will do. It was honestly amazing. So we got that on Saturday. It didn't get to the hotel till like six or seven. So when we got there, we basically just had dinner. I got up and it was the wedding day then. So I helped like do some because all my camera stuff was all ready because I'm very organised. Not blowing my own trumpet. Yeah, and the wedding day went really, really, really well. I'm super happy with the pictures. Um, I'm just currently editing, really, and I'm. I I said this on my Instagram last night. I actually feel slightly emotional editing them because I spent like three days with these people, and we literally spent most of our time together. We went out for dinner with them. We had drinks with them, and like traveled with them and it's it's really it's not it's really sad that it's over but it was just such a good experience and I would if any of you can travel with work then I'd highly recommend it because it's I just feel incredibly lucky and very privileged that I was able to do like work on something like this because it's, I've always wanted to travel like at college and stuff I was always like oh I'm so trapped here like all I want to do is go out and just work and travel and be abroad and earn money and from doing what I want to do and like I'm there now and it's crazy and I, I honestly if you know me then you know how lucky I actually am because I do I do often mention it like oh I'm very lucky to do what I do but also I do work very very hard for it it's not like I've been handed this on a plate like I've been doing photography since one year of A-levels and then three years of uni and I've been out of uni for three or four years now and I've been doing it pretty much full time for maybe like a year or two um, and I do work really hard but I feel so passionate about it and I enjoy it and I love it and I would not change a thing um, and I always feel like I need to say that I'm lucky and I feel grateful because sometimes I think why do I get this and other people don't like, why do I get to enjoy my job as much as I do and other people don't? But, it, it I don't know, it's, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother topic, isn't it, really? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave this vlog here. I hope the footage is okay. I've sort of watched a bit of it back. Um, and there's, like, footage of me in the storm and walking in the storm and the band and the wedding. Um, I didn't film any of the food, though. I was always too hungry. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I hope this vlog's been okay and that you've enjoyed it. Um, and I realised how often I say um, it's so annoying, sorry, <laughs> I do apologise, uh, yeah, so I'll leave this vlog here, but I'll see you, I've not really got a very exciting week, I'll think of a video I can film, if there's anything that any of you, like, want to see, video wise, I don't know, if you want to see, like, editing, or another shoot with Georgie or how like or an explanation of like the I do like the product photography if you want to know that if it's photography related or horse related or lifestyle related I don't know what do you want to see because I've done the lifestyle vlogs and I've done these vlogs just let me know if you want to see any of it um and I'll see what I can do but yeah I'll um catch you next time next time I upload a vlog bye